hello my good people welcome back to my channel um thank you for tuning in please like share subscribe and feel up that little notification bell and check out my etsy shop to get some good stuff i will put the link in the description box below and even if you can't get to the link just type those little numbers into just type those letters into the um google all right this is here it's just like a weekly um energies reading so we're just gonna see what this week has to hold for us what what we got coming through what are what are the energies like um and this is the card i pulled for the week and it is i help create a world where it is safe for us to love each other love is the most powerful healing force there is i give and accept it without limitations so that is a lovely reminder for us to continue to love each other, love ourselves, uh, work towards a better world, a better whew, situation for our lives, for our lives, for the generations that are to come for, um, you know, just better mental health, better mental health, better um heart health just healing there just like needs to be a whole lot of healing and a whole lot of loving each other um but y'all know that so we got to do it and we got to create it all right so when i was up in here in the teacup i was feeling a need for a connection there's a sense of needing connection of wanting connection and maybe in the the connection is um helping to grow Helping to grow, growing from weeds, growing from a place of, I keep hearing solitude. So maybe somebody's in solitude and trying to grow in solitude, but you maybe need that connection to help you grow. And it may not be a physical, it may not be a love relationship. It may be just connection with the, with people, you know, a friend, um, a sibling, a mother, a father, a mentor, um, um, any sort of body that can help build a connection with you and yourself in the outside world, you know? Okay. So, cause there may be some distance with you in the world. Like I said before, I'm feeling a lot of solitude. So maybe somebody is in solitude and hasn't been very active when it comes to socializing, which is, you know, the norm right now. Um, so, but it's time to kind of get active when it when it comes to be social and don't be such a wallflower and isolate yourself outside from people because you you can learn a lot from others. You can learn a lot from the outside world, even when you think you can't. You know, when you just go out and do one thing that you've never done before, you can um, learn how to process things, how to grow, and how other people process things. You know, this is really what it is. If I honestly don't, I'm getting a lot of images. I'm getting a lot of energy um, of growth and movement and stagnation and solitude. You know, where it's almost like somebody wants to, because that kind of looks like somebody wants to climb up out of something. Climb up out of a situation, climb up out of the head, climb up out of something, and the green things. This kind of looks like a monster to me, like a little monster or something. Like, and we can equate the monster to negative thoughts, so doubts, fears, um, things that are consistently sticking around. Maybe you're trying to climb up out of that and uh, really remove that out of your life, remove that doubt, remove that fear out of your life. And it seems like this week is is time to show yourself that love um yeah that's really what i'm getting i really don't let me see it kind of looks like a frog a frog of somebody maybe balancing balancing yourself not being one way or the other but also knowing that you can walk both worlds you can walk the the spirit world and the physical world and in walking both worlds then you have to learn to balance your own self you know, balance your mental health, balance your your physical health, balance your spiritual health. You know? Abundance. Abundance. Okay. Oh, I guess. Okay. Also, abundance. Bringing in abundance. A frog can mean 
bringing in abundance, abundant amount of um, Okay, so I'm I'm hearing abundance and I'm also hearing pressure. So you may feel like there is an abundant amount of pressure on you, you know, to do things a specific way. And let me tell you, this message won't be for everybody. It will just be for some people, but it won't be for everybody. So you may feel um, like this, like you may feel pressures to be a specific sort of way, but you can only be um, you. You know, don't allow the world to make you into this kind of spiritualist or this kind of mambo or this kind of um, pagan witch or whatever. You have to be you and realize that the only person who's going to get you there is you. So maybe that abundant pressure is you putting it on yourself with the doubts and fears, oh, well, maybe I'm not doing this right, or maybe I'm not learning right, or no, you're learning the way that you're supposed to, not anybody else that is supposed to. All right, so this is a, a week to um, allow those doubts and fears to melt away from you, um, really see them for what they are, and then take a step back and swap them out for a positive thought. So every negative thought, swap it out for five positive things in your life. Okay, that's your homework. For this week. All right. So create a better world. Create your world that you want to live in. All right. And that's within yourself and outside yourself. Have a blessed night. Blessed day. Love you. Have a good one.